This is my drone. I don't know if I ever showed it to you guys on YouTube. It is an X-frame, but it's like a long nose uh, X-frame. So when the props are spinning, you don't see it in the camera because I don't fly with a GoPro. Now that I have this extended nose, I don't get the props in the shot. Why do I need a GoPro? A GoPro just adds extra weight. So this is a Master 5 HD frame can't remember which stack I bought but it was the newest stack at the time it's got uh, and, and it works great the stack has never failed me it's got a little beeper on it it's got the uh, the antenna the back for the uh, 03 and this is uh, the crossfire antenna I'm flying with the Tango 3 and I've got some um, some special gimbals on here uh, some 2305s or 2306 v2 motors these are T motor and these props are very aggressive. I don't remember the name of the props. I'll put it on the screen, but that's about it. The reason why I don't use a GoPro is because, is because I'm concerned with the weight. Right now, this weighs about 670 grams with this battery on it. This is my battery of choice. It's the Tattoo R-Line version 5.0, 1400 milliampers, a 150C discharge rate. So it's specced up. It's got a lot of specs attached to it. I bought a whole bunch of them, like 12, and slowly crashing, they've been denting, they've been breaking, they've been swelling, and just replacing these bad boys has been really expensive. So when this company reached out to me and um, asked me if I wanted to test their uh, LiPo batteries, I said, why not? Now this one is a 1600 milliamp compared to my tattoo, which is a 1400 milliamp, but the weight difference is considerable. I will put the weight uh, of each one right above each battery so you can have an idea of the weight difference. Uh, so you might say for that extra 200 milliampers, I'm adding a lot more weight. And yeah, I'm adding a lot more weight, but I'm not fetching a GoPro. And sometimes with this battery on, which is, is really light, I feel like the drone's actually a little bit too light for me. I don't know why. So I figured that these bigger batteries would actually make the drone a little bit more stable, give me hopefully a little bit more flight time. And these I've been hammering for two years and they still work great. I'm excited to try this. So without further ado, pop this new bat, the old battery on, strap it down good. Double strap. Huh. Nice. She takes off nice. She's running smooth. Look at that. Ooh, she flies beautiful. That's why I got these packs, man. Oh, I love to dive this tree, but there are people there, so. There are people actually on the field, too. Oh, let's do it. This is nice, and there's not much, uh, what you call it, when you go on the throttle and stuff because the drone is very light. There's not a lot of um, flutter or what you call it. I forgot what you call it. When you go on the gas suddenly and then the drone kind of prop wash, there isn't that. And I think the weight being very light, there are people all over me. The drone being very light um, definitely helps with that. So it's pretty cool. Zoom by. Nice. Woo, looky down. See that? Nice and smooth. Let's go between these trees because we got good signal. Nice. And the drone handles well. It just handles well. I'm not doing anything too crazy. I'm not doing any crazy stunts because I don't really feel like walking and going to pick this up in case it crashes. So nothing too crazy. That's not crazy. It's a little bit of low flying. You got to fly low in your life a little bit. There's just a lot of people. That's my problem. Too much people. Nice. But I love how the drone is handling. I got 21.4. Oh, uh, all right, I got two minutes and 25 seconds doing a little bit. Of, I can get a little bit more out of it. Back up to 22. As soon as I let off the gas, I'm looking good. That's why I bought these. Nice, small, compact, lightweight, powerful, a lot of discharge, and just makes for a great overall flight. So. Let's put in the big boy, strap the big boy down. And I've never flown any of these batteries. This is going to be the first time. So what you see is what I see. What you feel is what I feel. Yeah. So, whoo, a lot taller off the bat. So I'm thinking instead of putting it tall like this and plugging down, 
I think I'm gonna go sideways. I feel like sideways is a better balance. Most people I see flying with this system over here, their batteries are usually big like this. And that's one of the reasons why I was like, why are these six, six cell batteries so big? I wanted something compact and small, but still six cell. And that's why I went for these. But neither the less, I don't have to worry about GoPro. I don't have to worry about too much weight. They sit down nice and thin, nice and flat. All right, we're gonna plug it in and then take it for a fly. Don't really feel much of a difference. Feels pretty much the same way. I feel a little bit of a drop. It's definitely dropping faster and that's, that's bound to happen because it's heavier, but I don't get any crazy prop wash. I definitely have to go in the throttle a little bit more to get lift, but nothing too crazy. Ooh, it's definitely got some head spin or some head speed, I should say. There we go. Yeah, nice. Give me a little wave up there on the circle. We'll fly low, fly low, fly low, fly low. If I knew here was less populated, I would have just come here in the first place. But it is what it is. Do some low flying. It sits nice, actually. It's flying pretty good. Can't complain. A little hard to see because the sun's going down. Wow, she flies pretty good. Wow, I'm surprised. Let's try and go in here a little bit, see if we can maneuver. Wow, where do these people come picnicking from? I'm not trying to scare them. Go flip roll. Nice. I like it. Oh, it's got some kick, boy. It's got some kicks, boys. You can hear these motors screaming all the way from here. She is not short of power. These are some good packs. You know, of course, longevity is one thing. You know, you gotta check longevity to see how long it last. I feel like I'm getting a longer flight time. I got three minutes. Nice. Nice. So I can push in this battery a little bit more on the throttle, but uh, you know, it's a brand new battery. It's not a two year old battery. So yeah, I'm gonna push it a little bit more. Let's go for a long range. Long range flight. Ooh, she flies nice and low though. Pulls a nice uh, altitude. Nice. Finish, which is expected. Four minutes is good. I'm definitely getting more battery life with it. It does have more milliamp here. Five minutes. That's one thing you gotta love about FPV, man. The durability that these things have. Unplug. I like it. I like it. I really do like it. There, there. I get more flight time, right? Well, it's a newer battery. A little bit more milliamp here. A little bit more throttle. I have to put. I could feel it because this is lighter, so less throttle will do more. This you have to go a little bit more throttle, but nothing, nothing worth talking about in my opinion. So this battery will give you, you know, about a minute, a minute more flight time, which is invaluable. In the GPS world, I know a minute is not a lot, but in FPV, it is a lot. Overall, pretty happy. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. The discharge rate on this guy is 150C, and this one is 120C, but I can't really notice any much of a difference. I do get a little bit more, a minute more flight time on this, so that's good. And I did work this a little bit harder because I know this guy is a little bit aged and worn and the price difference between these two. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This one does have a some kind of certification here, which I think is good. Probably European certification or something. Does this one say any certification on it? Mm. I don't think so. I've got four of these and I'm enjoying them and I'll leave a link in the description section where you can grab these batteries. Also, if you're looking for LUTs for your footage, like this shoots the Cinelike, or you're looking for LUTs for your D-Log footage as well, head over to www.dronexfactor.com. I've got a pack of 61 LUTs there. You're bound to find a LUT for your footage. Think about becoming a patron. It's only $1 a month. That's $12 a year. You get direct access to me in case 
you got any more questions for me. It's like sending me a text message on my phone. As always, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure you like and leave a comment in the comment section below. And make sure you hit subscribe if you have not so you can get updates on these batteries and more on FPV drones as well. If you guys want to know a little bit more about uh, FPV, like how to fly FPV drones like the DJI Avada 2, you got to check out this video here. If you want to know how the sticks on these controllers work, check out this video down here. With that being said, time to go home.